All right, guys, welcome to my tutorial. I've been requested to do this a couple of times, so I figured it would be of help to anybody, especially to those who are awaiting the coveted voice changes. But, you know, hearing your voice every day, you're not going to really notice a huge change. It doesn't drop overnight. It doesn't work like that. So I figured I'd show you how I tr keep track of changes. So what you're going to need first is get yourself a webcam or a smartphone that, you, and you know a place to upload it uh, as an mp3 on your computer, like connecting it or uploading to a site and just sharing it on your Facebook and just getting it somehow to your computer so you can use it. So basically, um, what I'm using is Audacity. It's a simple voice recording program if you have a webcam or something or a microphone that's plugged in and assuming it's all working in all that so I basically use audacity it's really simple it's just you just press this to record and for example I can you can just click this or just press R and I'm just gonna press R and just say something like this is just a test recording for a tutorial and there you're done and what I tend to do just so we can get a more accurate reading because when you click on stuff to end it it does register that click so I kinda trim it a bit like that and that's basically all you need to do and once you record it you can go to file after installing the mp3 codec so you can export it and you click export it's gonna have save type as mp3 files and you just give it a name you can just call it testing save you leave this blank and that's it, you're done for your one of your recordings. Now, if you want to do multiple, you just rinse and repeat. I'll just mute this and also press record again. All right, this is another test recording just to see for a comparison. And you're done. Now, you might want to trim this because as you see, there's like this little thing here that has it registered the click. So I tend to trim the sides, the beginning and the front, just making sure this stays intact. The whole speaking peach and the flat line is just nothing there. So, once again, you go to file, export, and I'm just going to rename this testing number two. Save, just leave the metadata blank, and you're good to go. That's all we really need out of Audacity, so I'm just going to minimize this and open up Pratt. Here's Pratt. So basically what you're going to want to do is click open. Open long sound file. It's like the second one from the drop down list. And you search for the files that you uh, named them as. I just left them outside. I'm just going to use my pre t and my six months. So once you highlight one item, you can hold control and highlight multiple. So you don't have to like open it up and then go back here and all that. It's, this makes it easier. All right, and just press OK, and uh, you highlight one of these, and you press View, and here's the chart for the whole thing. Here's the chart, and it tells you the uh, see it's uh, the peak here is 500 hertz, and the bottom is 75. So somewhere in there, your voice is gonna come out as a graph and you're gonna see all this so what I tend to do is like highlight this entire thing and it'll tell you the average you highlight this entire thing by uh, holding left click and dragging it along this graph and it will give you the fundamental frequency which is 202.6 Hertz for me as for my pre-t voice and you can even go to view play to hear it and you just press OK on this Hi, my name is Marissa, and this is my voice pre-T. See? And that's basically it. You can just write it down and play around with this. Uh, this is how I intend to measure frequency and know that my voice is changing. Because without this, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have, well, noticed anything unless somebody to outright told me. So basically, you X this out, and I'm going to go to my six-month-on-T voice recording that I recorded last week. And once again, you highlight this in the drop in this object menu. Just highlight this, just click on it, and you press view. And here we are again. Just by the graph, you can tell there's like a big difference. The other one was like somewhere around, like in this area, like somewhere around this area. 
at least that's how I saw it. And now, uh, once again, you're gonna left hold left click it and drag it around, drag it all across the graph. And here it tells me the the fundamental frequency, which is 102.1 hertz. So as you can see from six months since I started T, there's been a huge difference. It's basically like 100 hertz I dropped, more or less. And you can even click on different uh, parts of the blue line graph to see like where it hits and how your voice kind of like managed. Apparently my lowest point was... Um, 76.62 hertz, and my highest peaked was, must have been a crack, 454.8 hertz, and I kind of cracked in this area right here. <laughs> so basically, that's how I, um, analyze my voice changes in a somewhat scientific manner. So, I hope this helped. If you like this video, give it a like, uh, comment, uh, subscribe. Comment if you have any questions, uh, subscribe, uh, because I plan to put up more tutorial videos on other aspects of transition, primarily the FTM side. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy your week.